Hello everyone. Today we will be discussing the summary of chapter 2 supply and demand. So firstly we have eight important topics. Demand, supply, market equilibrium, shocking the equilibrium, elasticities, effects of a sales tax, quantity supplied need not to equal quantity demanded. when to use the supply and demand so demand the quantity demanded of a good or service depends on various factors including consumer tastes the price of the good or service the price of substitutes and complements consumer income information government regulations and other factors after that we have the law of demand it states that demand curve slopes downward meaning that the higher the price the less quantity is demanded assuming other factors remain constant a change in price causes a movement along the demand curve while a change in factors other than price causes a shift in the demand curve to drive a total demand curve we horizontally sum the demand curves of individuals type of consumers or con- consumers or countries by adding other quantities demanded by each individual at a given after that we have supply the quantity supplied by the firm is affected by multiple factors including price costs government regulations and other factors while the market supply curve doesn't have to slope upwards but it often does a change in price will result in a movement along the supply curve however a change in the price of an input or government regulation will shift the supply curve the total supply curve is the sum of the supply curves for individual firms which are horizontal and after that we have market equilibrium The equilibrium price and quantity in a market are determined by the intersection of the demand and market forces which include actions by both consumers and firms work together to drive the price and quantity towards the equilibrium levels. If the initial price and the quantity are too low, market forces will push them upwards towards the equilibrium. Conversely, if the initial price and the quantity are too high, market forces will push them downwards towards the equilibrium ultimately the market will settle at equilibrium price and quantity where supply and demand are well after that we have shocking the equilibrium a change in an underlying factor other than price such as the price of substitutes or complements income or the price of inputs will cause a shift in the supply or demand curve which in turn alters the equilibrium comparative statistics is the method economists use to analyze how variables controlled by consumers and firms such as price and quantity react to changes in environmental variables elasticity an elasticity is the percentage change in a variable in response to a given percentage change in another variable holding all other relevant variables constant the price elasticity of demand is the percentage change in the quantity demanded in response to a given percentage change in price a 1% increase in price causes the quantity demanded to fall the price elasticity of demand percentage because demand curve slope downward according to the law of demand the elasticity of demand is always negative the price elasticity of supply is the percentage change in the quantity supplied in response to a given percentage change in price given estimated elasticities we forecast the comparative statistics effects of a change in taxes or other variables that affect the equilibrium effect of sales tax ad valorem taxes and specific taxes are the two common types of sales taxes 
both types of sales taxes typically raise the equilibrium price and lower the equilibrium quantity. Consumers don't bear the full burden of the tax as both usually raise the price. Consumers pay and lower the prices suppliers receive. The effects on quantity, price and the incidence of tax depend on the demand and the supply elasticity. In competitive markets, the impact of tax on equilibrium quantities, prices and the incidence of tax is unaffected by whether the tax is collected by consumers or producers. After that we have quantity supplied need not to equal quantity demanded. The quantity supplied equals the quantity demanded in a competitive market if the government doesn't intervene. Government policies such as price floors or ceilings can disrupt the natural balance of supply and demand. Price floors creates excess supply as the minimum price set by the government is above the equilibrium price. Price ceilings create excess demand as the maximum price set by the government is below the equilibrium prices. Finally, we have when to use the supply and demand model. The supply and demand model is a useful tool for analyzing markets. The model is only applicable in competitive markets. Competitive markets are characterized by many buyers and sellers. Firms in competitive markets sell identical goods. Participants in competitive markets have full information. Transaction costs are low in competitive markets. Firms can easily enter and exit in competitive markets.